First time I learned to play on the guitar, well, I used to listen to a lot of jam seven inches on my little record player in my bedroom, and, and uh, there was a few simple ones there. Aunties and Uncles and Liza Radley, which was the B-side to start. And um, the, the, um, Liza Radley suited me down to the ground because it was this sort of romantic story about having a crush on this local girl, this sort of misfit, and, and who wanders around at night on her own and, and things like that, and obviously has a lot on her mind, and is quite deep, and having this kind of, um, and, and sort of declaring your love. It was really romantic and intense little song. The career of Blur, maybe? I know, that'd be easy. I don't know anything much about anything. So on Mastermind, the career of Blur, I might not even know much about that in the middle of it. I mean, I was kind of a, pretty much confused and not really with it. So, so I'll probably fail on that subject. I don't think I did write a song for a girl at any point. I wasn't that great at the guitar at that point, although I did do a gig, but these were, these were, these were songs that I'd done in a funny group in Colchester before I'd moved there. And one of them was about Martin, who was always farting. One was about um, my budgie being on the pill, and that was it. I quite like to be Catwoman. I'd like to be the other gender, really, because, you know, imagine a bloke turning into to Catwoman. I mean, that would be quite a thrill. All leather clad and being able to do great big jumps and be particularly mean and nasty. I mean, that, that, if I was a superhero, I think I'd like to be someone like, like her. I've always loved the idea of being in a war film like A Bridge Too Far when I'd be, you know, one, one, you know, one of the chaps. Pro no, probably not an officer, probably just a, just a Tommy, you know. After music went, uh, gosh, any professional branching out after music for me, well, that implies that music will end. Um, and if music ends, let's say, I would probably uh, go back to drawing pure, old, rude little pictures in my book and, and um, only show my closest friends. Some really good reggae, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, Jeff Buckley, and I, and I think that just wipes girls out. I've never tried it. You know, I'm not that kind of boy. But uh... would I rather be a dog with a man's head or a man with a dog's head? Um. Well, yeah, I mean, this is the problem, isn't it? If you're a dog with a man's head, you, yeah, I mean, we've talked about some kind of magical feats you might be able to perform on yourself. <laughs> but actually, you might, if, you, if you've got your own brain and then, and then, and then the sort of um, the body of a dog, you might find yourself suddenly having intercourse with another dog in the middle of the street and wonder why the hell you're doing it. That would be pretty embarrassing. But if I have a dog's head, that means I'd have a dog's brain, so I'd be sniffing people's bums anyway, wouldn't I? Whatever it is, it's a bizarre, sick question. Yeah, Jack.